really pleased that we've got onto the poetry spine. When I was a teacher, poetry was absolutely at the heart of teaching English for me. Not only do children love hearing poetry, they love reading and performing poetry, and that's a great place to start with poetry. Get everybody performing in groups or choral performance for the whole class. It's a way of helping us take a poem into ourselves, a way of beginning to become intimate with a poem, knowing it really, really well. I meet people when I visit old people's homes to run writing workshops. I meet people who can still recite poems that they learned 80 years beforehand. It's like a little gift that you give them. Now, the poetry spine takes us all the way from nursery through to year six. I tried to go for a poet for each term. So over time, children will get to know a range of fantastic poets. And in the same way that I looked at the reading spine and went for classic literature, I've gone for the finest that I can find. For instance, Ted Hughes. Every child should have experienced the joys of Ted Hughes's wonderful poetry. The Magic Box by Kit Wright. Many teachers know that poem, but do you know all the other amazing poems that he has written? Ted Hughes, Kit Wright, Carol Ann Duffy, amazing writer for children, fantastic models for writing their own uh, poems. And then we've got all sorts of other people. Charles Corsley, wonderful writer of ballads. We've got Brian Moses. We've got Val Bloom. We've got James Carter. Great, great writers for children. So each term they'll get to know a poet really well. And you could read aloud every single day. You could have a slot, say, after lunch where you're going to have another poem by your selected author for that particular term. And then there's an anthology for each term. For instance, this one, Sensational, by Roger McGuff. Roger's edited this wonderful book, and it looks at the senses. And of course, if children are to ever be great writers themselves, they need to be tuned into the senses and appreciating and celebrating their own worlds. So we got uh, great anthologies for each year. The works, Key Stage 2. When I edited this, I put all the poems that if I was a teacher, I'd love to have to hand for teaching great and wonderful poetry. We've also got other things in here. We've got Painter Poem. This is an extraordinary collection. Grace Nichols looked at um, famous paintings and then how we might use these in order to create poetry. So Paint Me a Poem not only has her own poems in, but also looks at and prompts children uh, to writing their own. We go all the way from the joys of Julia Donaldson, marvellous stuff, and her treasury of songs. We have nursery rhymes, action rhymes, skipping rhymes, dipping rhymes, making our way through when we were very young, A.A. Milne, the king asked the queen, and the queen asked the dairy maid, can we have some butter for the royal slice of bread? Marvellous stuff. So that over the years, day after day after day, children are filled with rhymes and poems. The simplest way to organise this is for us to have Rhyme of the Week at Key Stage 1 and in the early years. If you did that, if you had a nursery, it would be 30 rhymes. I'm thinking of things like the farmer's in his den, twinkle, twinkle, little star, the great traditional rhymes, the core of our culture. So that would give you about 30 in nursery, 30 in reception, 30 in year one, and then of course by the time we're into year two, we're going to be moving from rhymes into poems, some of which will rhyme, some of which will be uh, free verse. That would give you a bank of well over 100. So each day settling on the carpet, doing our rhyme or poem of the week, building up this massive internal bank of ideas, images, possibility, language. And then at key stage two, we could have poem of the day. And this is where children select a poem that they want to perform. They can go solo or they might want to perform it with their classmates. They can get the percussive instruments out and do a little bit of a rap if they want to do. We'd want a range of poetry. So poem of the day over those four years is going to be very, very powerful um, input. Get them on a rotor so that um, uh, everybody has their own fair turn. So this is going to give us a great bank, a richness of poetry 
in our early years Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 classes. Read to them regularly. Read to them every day. Soak them in great poetry. And they'll internalise that language. You know, if you're to get children writing really, really well, you've got to put good stuff in in, ever, in order to get good stuff out. So the poetry spine provides us with a strong, strong core of great poems and great poets. You'll want to supplement that. Every single year you'll be wanting to look at the Clipper Poetry Prize, see what's been uh, nominated, see what's been selected, and add to this central spine of poetry with a richness of provision. So, the Poetry Spine, I couldn't be happier to see this out and about in our schools.